Hi guys, it's about 4.15 or 4.13 on Saturday. See, I, I keep forgetting I have the exact time right in front of me. <laughs> it's terrible we use our TV for a clock. <laughs> Not really. We watched a movie today. Um, it was called Beyond Christmas with Harry Carey. It was from 1940. And it was pretty good. And we watched that while we ate lunch and for a little while after Pete went to the store this morning and got low-carb bread, which is still really unhealthy. And I know that, but I still can't make bread yet, so make our regular low-carb bread. So he went and got that so we could have grilled cheese sandwiches because thanks to sinful vlogs, we had to have grilled cheese today. Maybe tomorrow I'll be able to make bread. I don't know. Make low-carb bread. Um, that roll recipe that I did the other day, you can make that into a loaf of bread, but I've never had really good luck with it making it into a whole loaf. I've made it like into four big sub buns, but that's not f good for things like grilled cheese, but it's great for sandwiches, obviously. The outside. That's it. Sun's go getting low in the sky. We haven't had any new snow. Um... Hoping for some, expecting some, though it's in the forecast. About to do the birds and start practicing for Sunday. That's our day so far. I, uh, The dogs woke me up at about 11.15. Pete had already gone to the store, so they took advantage of that and started barking up a storm. So um, I laid in bed for about an hour reading, and then I got up. But I think I'm going to... Um, watch a little bit of you know play with the roku a little bit i just love that thing if i've never been a big tv watcher i've never you know i used to 10 o'clock every night i'd watch house hunters but other than that i was never a big tv watcher but now that we have this roku there's just so much stuff on it and there's so much available to watch and there's so many cool things to learn and uh, all the documentaries endless documentaries which are my favorite and so you know when I can't do anything else or when I'm done doing anything else, that's become my go-to now. <laughs> There's Pete burning leaves. It's almost dark out. And he's burning. I see him somewhere in that smoke. I hope he thought to close our bedroom window before he started all this. <laughs> Oh, goodness sake. That's a big job. At least we have a good um, night light out in the back, so if he's not done by dark, we have a great big light. So you can see what he's doing. Golly, you can smell it throughout the whole house. I better go check the bedroom window. <laughs> As I thought, the bedroom window was open. Oops. Well, I'm glad that my back is improving a little bit today. In fact, when I got up this morning, it was like I say, I think I said it already about 25% better. So I was able to do chopping of vegetables to make dinner tonight. Um, I'm using up my last two delicata squash. They're probably my last two of the year. But I played the piano for like a good hour, hour and a half today. And um, it wasn't until I sat on the stool for... You know, that long my back started really getting bad again, but I was able to chop all the vegetables. I think I'm on my way. Probably a weather front moving through. Probably, you know, this weather front that moved through that brought us the snow or whatever. That's what I'm thinking. Tonight, those delicatas, I, I peeled them. They peel very easily with a vegetable peeler. And I then chopped them into chunks and I'm roasting them, tossed them with olive oil. I usually use coconut oil, but I didn't want to stand there and melt the coconut oil and everything. So, um, tossed them with olive oil, sea salt, and a little cinnamon. And when they're done, I'm going to kind of mash them together with some butter and stuff. Or smashed, probably. Not really mashed, mashed, like smooth mashed, but probably more like smashed. Like the smashed red potatoes you get at some restaurant. I can't remember. It's a chain restaurant. Well, I just sat down. Pete's still out messing with the fire. It's almost 7.30. And he's still messing with the leaves in the back. It's dark out. But as I said, he, there is a, we have a good light out, the, out in the back, so he should be able to um, 
you know, see what he's doing. So tonight I got my practicing all done so I don't have to practice in the morning. I might do one run through, but I don't have to practice. I got it all recorded, which takes time in the morning. And I'll put it on tomorrow's video, but even though I recorded it today, and uh, or five minutes worth, I try and keep five minutes or less for just the music, and one minute or less to prove I was in church. <laughs> I won't have to get up too early tomorrow. I'll just get up at 9 instead of 7.30 or 8. That'll be good. That'll be good. Okay, guys, here's dinner. Onions and Brussels sprouts. The other boneless pork chops all fried together. And then I just season them with sea salt and balsamic vinegar and let them cook down in the vinegar. The squash that I cubed and tossed with olive oil and sea salt and cinnamon and then I roasted it and then I smashed it when it got out of the oven and added butter. So we're going to go eat. It's about 8.20. I've been watching House Hunters International on Netflix and I don't know what we're going to watch. Maybe another William and Mary or something. Or maybe a movie on the Feelin' channel on Roku, which is a subsidiary of Hallmark or something. I don't know. We'll see. Now we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. God bless. Remember to pray for your pastors. They have a heavier burden than any of us will ever know spiritually. And um, they come under a whole lot of attacks more than any of us will ever know. So remember to hold them up in prayer. And... Um, that our hearts will be open to what God says to us through them tomorrow morning. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night and a sensational, stupendous Sunday. Love you guys. Good night.